Hey there, my name's Franz Sands, and uh, this is my boxing coach.com. Um, let's go through lateral movement with punching. Okay, and I want to be really quite precise. I'm going to give you a drill that you can work on that will significantly improve your prowess when it comes to punching as you move uh, either to the left or to the right. Um, on the floor, you can see I have three lines running parallel. We have our centre line, and then each of the other lines is placed uh, at the width of my foot at a 45 degree angle. That side, and that side, okay? Um, so let's think about conventional side stepping. Or lateral movement. If I want to push that way, I push off my back leg. And if I want to go that way, I push off my front leg. Let's dispel something right now. What we don't do is step and move, okay? Step and move. It's not fast enough, not even close to being fast enough. Um, we're about speed. So you generate the push, front leg, and we go across. Um, key common fault, don't let your legs cross, okay? Don't allow that leg to go across there or vice versa. Maintain the integrity of your stance. Now, the reason I've got these things so um, precisely measured out, i.e. the width of a 45 degree foot, is because, look, anyone can push that way and end up somewhere over there, or push that way and end up somewhere over there. That's not what we're about. It's really quite challenging to move a prescriptive, precise amount, especially when we're talking short movements. So, what we need to do, practice, set up a three minute round. Minute number one, let's push us from there, so that each time we push across, we end up with that line, going from the toe on our front foot, to the heel on our back foot. Push, 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 push. Okay, do that for a minute. Second minute then, build in your jab. Now, with the jab, you can throw the jab as you move, okay? So you can throw the jab before you move, as you move, or after you move. So you can go, jab, jab, push across, jab, 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 nice and simple, okay? Full extension of the shot, moving left and right, so you combine the two skills. Then build in the backhand. Now with the backhand, when you move, always have your feet static when you're throwing the backhand punch. You can move as you're throwing the jab, make the feet steady and static as you throw the backhand. So, jab, backhand, one, two, push across, one, two, push across, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Three minutes, okay, so minute number one, Side to side. Minute number two with a jab. Minute number three with the backhand. When you move out of the way of the shot, remember that really you only want to move about that far, about the width of a glove. The ideal piece of lateral movement allows the opponent's glove to go grazing past your ear. You might be having an internal dialogue. What about though, Fran? You've moved across. If you're throwing straight punches, then the opponent's head's still going to be there. That's where our old friend, the curved backhand hook, comes in. Okay, long range right hook. Okay, it's not a straight shot. So what I can do, I can borrow six inches either side. So if I push this way, push across. There's my right hand. Cross, right hand. Thanks very much. I'll have that one. Same that way. Push across, backhand down the middle. Pulling shots coming that way. All right, three minute round. Try that a few uh, each day. One minute. Be precise with your movement. Don't go too far, because as I said before, any old fool can do that. Be precise and measured in what you do. Um, you want more stuff like this? Sign up. You should see below now. A link to take you to my website sign up 
for the free reports and video drills and tons of other stuff that you can get hold of. Um, any questions or comments, let me know below. My name's Franz Sands, and this is mybexingcoach.com.